Hi, this is Dimmer Brook from XP Network. Today I'm going to show you that finally Hedera is supported by the bridge in the production branch of the bridge. Um, in order to use Hedera, what you can do is you can select it as a chain of departure or chain of distance. Uh, let's uh, select it as the chain of departure. Let's, for example, select uh, Undim as the chain of distance time. Because I want to show you that uh, right now Hedera is supported uh, with two wallets, both Hashpack, which is the native uh, wallet of Hedera, and MetaMask, which is an EVM compatible. Uh, so since Hedera started supporting Ethers JS and became compatible with other EVM means. Um, it became possible uh, to now support both the standards. Um, so I'm sure that you, if you're familiar with Hedera, you already know how to use the uh, But I'll show you that now it's also available in MetaMask. So if I click MetaMask, it will be taken to MetaMask. And as you can see, uh, whatever the chain I had will be now switched to Hedera mainnet. So now we're able to connect. Uh, well, this says that this account doesn't have any tokens. Okay, uh, we can switch to another account. So, okay, and uh, get the tokens um, in another account. Um, we can also connect uh, to an HBAR wallet. Let's see how we can do that. Let's select Hedera. In here. And we can also with hash. So right here will be taken. So. And now we have a choice uh, which account we can. For example, let's like this one. Will be taken to the here. Well, as you can see, I have these over here. Now this one obviously bridged components, and it takes some time. Images decoded. Some of them reside on. Uh, the flow is the same as with rest means. Button. We can provide an address here, and then we have to click approve. Uh, the interesting thing is here that now we support, um, Hedera supports EVM compatible. For example, if I want to send to Vesa. Uh, this and we can do uh, well this approval will work let's see okay. sure. as you can see uh, the cost of the transaction is about uh, 9.87 bar there'll be deployment fees on the chain of destiny which is 11.38. The contract will be deployed on the right uh, to hold the token the bridge. And amount account. And this this money will be used by the bridge validators to deploy a contract on. Uh, once we bridged, we'll have this success window. With the bridging results. Um, in the top right corner, there is the address of the sender in the event and the address of the receiver also in. In the bottom view, we see the transaction on the chain of the. And here we're waiting on the chain. First, let's go and check the transaction on the chain. Here we are in. The or open. we see that two transactions took place crypto transfer when the token was transferred from my account uh, contract that holds this and uh, token burn okay a token burn happened because this was a wrapped token and we burn wrapped tokens to avoid duplication of the, the, the contract became the owner of the NFT, and as an owner, it burned this. We see that the transaction was full, and it means that everything else should also go. Close this window, and we see that the transaction is still pending. Uh, well, it might take some time, especially that we know that a contract should. 
So let's also uh, go to the Bridge Explorer. And in the Bridge Explorer, we should see that the last transaction is exactly the, the transaction that we did. And because we already see the hash under Moonbeam, it means that this NFT already arrived. And also, it might take some time for the hold it. Okay. And there we go. You see the transaction was completed. So let's click the transaction hash on the chain. We see that the transaction is completed and this token ID uh, was minted for me in this Pokemon official section. You can see that the two address owners and one minute ago is action to this is with my so as you can see we were able to send an NFT on from Hedera to VM in, in mainnet you can do it all now so if you have business idea from Hedera using X bridge you do so it has become thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you.